Simon Sinek's great, but I think he only had half of the equation. Hello and welcome back. I've got Tony Hughes with me again. Welcome back, Tony. Hey, John. Good to be with you again. Hey, look, you're sometimes controversial and, and you said something to me recently which concerns me a little bit. Simon, Simon Sinek, in, in a great TED talk that was really popular out there, said, lead with why. Yep. And you're telling me you think he's only half right. I do. I do think he's only half right, especially for people in sales leaders, anybody wanting to influence others. What Simon Sinek basically says in his talk about the golden circle, he talks about the fact that most people lead with what they do, then how they do it, and then why they think that's important. And and I agree that's not the right way to go. So I think Simon's right. Well, he's not because what he talks about is only half of the equation. He talks about lead with why you do what you do. What is it that drives you emotionally? What are you really passionate about? And if you look at um, someone like Elon Musk at Tesla, for example, he leads with why he's trying to change the world, whether it's around sustainability, making electric cars cool, mm-hmm. getting the human race to Mars. Yes. And, all, and, and people buy into his why. Recently, when they launched the Tesla 3, they sold uh, over $12 billion worth of cars. It was the most successful car launch in the world just online and people buying those cars or paying deposits with the shopping cart. So people buy into his why he does what he does, but for most salespeople, that's not enough. We need to also lead with the other why, which is why is a conversation important to the other person? Okay. So so you're really saying it's not just why it's important to me, Correct. it's why it's important to our customer. Correct. So you may be passionate about what you do and how you're trying to change the world. But if the customer couldn't give a damn about that, you're wasting their time and yours. That's true. So you need to lead with okay. why it's important to the to the person we're trying to influence. So what I really teach people to do and talk about is that they need to lead with why the conversation matters rather than with who they are, what they do, and how they do it. So lead with why the conversation should matter to the other person and then let that feed into Simon Sinek's why, you know, what really motivates us and drives us. And the reason that that's important is because it speaks to intent. So what I believe is lead with the value for the other person and then also Mm -hmm. lead with your intent, which is why you do what you do. And you need both of those whys to be successful, not just one. So you're saying Simon only had half of that equation and you really, particularly in sales, need both. Yes. So any leader, anyone in sales, anyone wanting to truly influence people, lead with both of those whys. But if if you're trying to be commercial, if you're trying to influence people to do business with you, Lead with why a conversation matters to that other person. What's the business value that you offer? What's the problem that you solve? And then let that feed into your intent, which is why you do what you do. You need both parts of the equation. Why it's of value to your customer and why your intent matters in relation to that in that context. Yes. Simon Sinek's great, but I think he only had half of the equation. What do you think about that, Simon? (laughs) I think uh, it's a good discussion. I'll be interested to see what our audience has got to say about that. Uh, I love what Simon says. I love that TED uh, that TED talk. Uh, but you raise a really interesting point, Tony, and I thank you very much. Let's have a discussion about it on, online. Thanks, John.